<laughs> okay, so left hand one was your before. Now, obviously, we can't see tension in your grip. Yeah. But, okay, we can see the swing being more tense, and you can yeah. feel it. Weirdly, my shoulder looks higher. On the... I look more sloped. The white, it almost makes you see, you can see more white on that. Yeah. It's just light Tends you maybe more, yeah, maybe the lighting's I, slightly on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so set it wise, okay. Say so back swing wise, for the most part, not too bad. Went a bit forward there, he's over the body, okay, but got the club in an okay kind of position. When you were loose in the grip, club goes back further. Yeah. Because you can move more now, more effectively, okay. The feeling is now, it's in this little practice drill, wall behind you, find that wall and get that club kind of coming down the wall. Yeah this way what yours want to do is go out that way yeah. okay now if we look at these sort of two swings sort of bit by bit as they come down okay and we'll just stop with some frames as we go through so at this oh, point here now bit. yeah that I club is sort of through your right bit. shoulder yeah. almost vertical okay this one here now underneath your right shoulder yeah yeah so more in line with your right forearm as we're looking to try and get the club on there okay as you go further again that club is out here that club is out there. It's starting to oh, move now yeah. in this direction towards yeah. the wall, okay? As you come into the golf ball, there's your path there. Shaft of the golf ball, there's your path there. So suddenly now, the club now is more in line where there. Yeah. It's out of the line, okay? So with less effort on this one, it's a more efficient hit that way as opposed to that way. Yeah. Okay. So actually hitting the golf ball towards target. Now, interesting enough, when you swung this one, because you let your arms drop, your lower half is a little bit less active. Okay. And then it starts coming. You look at impact. Now your right foot's not really moved. Oh yeah. Whereas that one has started a little bit. Now in some ways, I don't mind this happening because it means your club can now come back in a better angle. Yeah. When this happens and the knee goes forward, this heel lifts. A lot of times things start moving in this direction to the right anyway. Okay. So the fact your lower half's a bit quieter is not the worst thing in the world. But in reality. We want to get a little bit more sort of zip and twist of the golf ball. Oh, yeah. In terms of practice, we can just start working on that wall drill. So it's two parts, okay? So we swing the top of the backswing, we stop, we then find the wall on the way back, which means that club now, with just forearm kind of just, moving, yeah. moving your arms backwards, you just to the top, find the wall. So move your club backwards, and then from there, drag it down the wall. And just stop the club when it drags down. Stop it about here somewhere. Don't have to go yeah. through the ball into a full swing, okay? In reality, it's a full swing. You come through this way and you smash the ball. So <laughs> don't go through the full, yeah. follow through again, okay? and you window smash it over and stuff. Okay? So it's just a feeling from here, the arms sort of dropping, the club full of falling behind, and getting in that sort of hitting position down the line here, not <coughs> from out of the line yeah. there. Because all the further out and the, further, the harder you try the golf ball, the further here the club's going to go because your shoulder's going to fire even further out. So the more effort you put into it, the shorter it goes. It's imagine we see the difference even in that one. It, it looks like it's oh, shrugged up tight. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And that's the problem, though. It's very tense. Basically. You can't see tension in terms of someone's grip pressure, yeah. but you can see a swing that looks tense. Right, okay. Okay. Your cool. arms and shoulders can't function as easily, okay, because it's all kind of like a swing underwater. Yeah. Okay. Swing the top, drop, let that club just sort of fall and release down behind you, and then allow that club to switch through. I'd say probably next session we look at more the actual through impact position. Yeah. But for me, if we can just sort of drill this down swing movement, get that better start bringing the club back in the goal with a better angle and better path, we can maximise your efficiency of shots so rather than sort of high loopy ones, they're more towards target. Make sense? Brilliant. Yeah. Excellent.